Hello guys and welcome to the Gentleman Builder, the channel that makes you a thinker in Minecraft. So, as you guys may know, it's not a secret that I love Minecraft hacks. In fact, I base my entire channel around these tips, tricks and hacks within the vanilla game. When I work on ideas, I always tend to explore designs many people see as impossible. It is a great way to challenge your mind and to discover new techniques. Sometimes I go watch videos online for new hacks and a while ago I found that several people claim to have found a way to stack two different slabs on top of each other. This of course caught my attention and I watched these videos to see how they actually did it and what do you know, I tried it and it actually works. Well, sorta. You see, for this to work you need to set a world border. You can place a slab inside of the world border and a different slab on the top half in front of that. With the help of a piston you are able to push these two blocks into the same place creating a double block. Incredible in its own right for sure, but it does come with a catch, or several. First of all, the world border itself. When you decrease the border, you will not be able to build around it anymore. When you increase the border, the first place block will move as it should have with the piston. This means that the block behind your double slab will always be occupied with an invisible block. Another thing is that we can never move three or more blocks into the same spot. This is because that there can only be one block present behind the world board. This would be the invisible block whenever everything goes right with the double slab. Alright, we can still work with this. We could work layer for layer and keep the already built things right in the outer world border. Only there is one other catch as well. If you are willing to build with this, then you have to realize that these blocks are unstable blocks. That means that if you relock to a server, or to the world, these unstable blocks will vanish. Whether you like it or not, this technique still doesn't give us 100% functional double slabs. But it gives us 90% functional double slabs and even more. So my goal in this video is to make a Dutch house using this world border technique, just to see what we can do with it. Before I start building, I want to show you guys some small techniques which we could be using. We can use any block or item that is pushable with a piston first, and we can place or push any other item in it that we want. The debug stick works as well for these blocks. Uh, just know that you can only change the blocks in that position. Now that we know that, we can have some fun building a house.
right, so um, <laughs> this is definitely not the best Minecraft house I've ever done, especially in this town. But it really shows what you can do with this technique. And like I said, when I relock, everything will be gone. So I have to do this rather quickly. As you can see, the border is over here. So I can free, uh, freely or move around this building and as you can see yeah, it has a lot of holes in it and yeah that's to be expected because these are the areas in which the invisible block resides and yeah like I said it, it, it doesn't make it the best looking building but it is a very very interesting tip and very interesting hack to try out for yourself because I don't know may maybe I'm one of the first people actually using this technique to actually build something and it is rather interesting as you can see everything is a smooth surface over here that is something that's just not possible within the current game uh, you guys know that I use the texture pack from WBC which means that I have uh, iron trapdoors, which are always which are always in a smooth pass for me. And yeah, as you can see, it, it it's very interesting. Uh, I tried to create some smaller windows over here. Uh, didn't really work out that well because of the depth everything has. Uh, I like to use depth. Uh, for the illusions. The only thing is uh, that there has to be an entire block of space in between here. Otherwise you cannot do any of these details. And that's a shame. It, it's really visible that, that it's there. Uh, on the other hand, it looks very, very interesting what we did over here. We never had so much detail in a flat space and I think it looks really interesting. It, it's, it's definitely something that I want to try some other things with because uh, like I said this, this, this is my first try as well. I, I did not do anything before this. This is my first try. I did not know what it would do to my glass paints uh, as you can see it changed them back otherwise we had some smaller framings in the back side so that's that's a little bit of shame but yeah something that I cannot change a lot about anymore and I wanted this to be a full line as well but yeah as you can see I missed one of the blocks over there so it is possible to build within this technique and you can do it layer for layer so there are more possibilities but you always need to have a spare space behind it which makes it very frustrating uh, but very interesting to build it with. I think this is a very good test, a very good first test and I hope you guys would like to try this some more often because I think it's really interesting to do something like this. Um, yeah, that, that's just all I have to say. I, I think I'm repeating myself, but I really think this is a really interesting technique. It's really sad to see that this is probably the only time we are going to look at this building because as soon as I uh, disconnect from my own single player everything is going to reset um, and that's the thing yeah and that's something that I have to live with but at least I tried something with it and I showed that there's some other possibility with building within the game and I think that's what I made this entire channel about I wanted to show you guys whatever you can do in Minecraft with hacks tips tricks etc and this is definitely a hack definitely a build hack not a lot of people do 
that is very worth trying out for yourself. So guys, please subscribe to the channel, join the thinkers, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Thank you very much.